So, Jaspi Perez. Whenever you think of two names back to back together, you usually think of some sort of firm. Usually, maybe a law firm like Hush Blackwell or uh, White Kopecky or Baloney Luke. This is similar. Oh, apparently it has an OK on there too. That's not supposed to be on there, but all right. Well, this is similar, only it's not a law firm. It's a legal protection club. Sort of like legal insurance, only not. Uh, essentially, the way that this will work is that you will pay a membership, and through that membership, you'll be covered for all of your legal needs. And that's how it will work. So sort of like, I don't know, all state uh, provides you with auto insurance, and you, uh, you purchase a policy with, auto, with all state, you purchase a policy with Gatsby Perez, and we provide you with a legal insurance policy sort of thing. All right. So it will cover your attorney fees as well as covering your court costs whenever you uh, have any legal troubles. All right, so now there's different aspects of uh, the business that we're, that we're going to go into. Uh, the first one is going to be the family law or the marriage uh, uh, aspect of the business. Now, when I first decided to do this, I thought perhaps I could do a family law uh, uh, club and have folks pay for a yearly subscription to have a set number of hours per, per year that they could have access to for family law. So let's say that they want to uh, dissolve their marriage. Well, that's very costly. Uh, it's better to be covered for that in the long term. But I thought, because we're a Jesuit school, because we want to be uh, more of the Jesuit tradition <laughs> of being better uh, long term, I thought perhaps it'd be a better alternative to do uh, marriage counseling instead of family law to dissolve a marriage altogether. And I meant that pandering to be for Bobby Curran, who I thought would be here, but <laughs> he's not here, so I'll just imagine he's right there. I'll pander to him right there, I guess. I don't know. All right. So there, uh, there's different tiers for this club. The first tier that you pay for is the basic level, and you get a certain uh, number of hours of marriage counseling uh, per year. In the second tier, you get a little bit more. and the third tier, you do get, uh, get that added on bonus of um, having the family law in case the marriage counseling doesn't work. Um, the next uh, aspect is the traffic protection. Again, this is also three-tiered, and that uh, this will protect you in the event that you have uh, parking tickets, or if you have a speeding ticket, or if you have a DWI or something, I don't know. Um, but it will protect you in the event that you do come across that, those sorts of situations and you need an attorney. If you need an attorney, it's going to be very costly on top of your court costs, on top of the ticket, on top of everything else. Well, you want to protect yourself uh, in the event that that happens. A speeding ticket, if you get one, not only do you have to pay that ticket, but also it's going to increase your rate for auto insurance. And so you want to combat that. You want to uh, contest that. And the way to do that is by having an attorney, by protecting your legal rights. So that's what this does. Uh, another aspect is the debtor protection. Uh, a lot of folks... You know, or debtors, that's what America is. We're baptized into debt. We're, we're all college students, so we're all debtors. Um, so a lot of uh, creditors can charge usurious rates. They'll take advantage of you. They'll, they'll do all sorts of things to try to uh, bend the law in their favor. And you know, because you're a debtor, that you're probably not going to be able to afford the attorneys that you need to make sure that your rights are protected. So in order to make sure that your rights are protected, best thing to do is to be covered for that whenever they do uh, to try to take advantage of you, whenever they do try to uh, charge usurious rates unreasonably. Uh, the other aspect, the one that I thought of uh, more recently, is the tenant protection. Being someone who is a customer of UMC Homes, uh, I, they have, I believe, 155 homes. I know that sometimes they can be kind of like creditors and charge late fees that are kind of ridiculous that you know, aren't really supposed to be there. They can uh, say that, hey, as a landlord, that they, they weren't really going to uh, cover some sort of uh, maintenance or some sort of repair that was supposed to happen that they said in the original contract that they were going to do. Well, you as the tenant have no real say. You have no muscle. You can't really say, hey, do this, do this, do this, because you're, you're the little guy. Well, by having this protection plan, by having this plan set in place, you can, you can have access to an attorney who can go to your landlord and say, hey, 
It's in the contract that this is supposed to happen. Hey, we're going to litigate against you if, if you do not uh, meet your obligations. And so therefore, again, this is protecting the normal guy. This is protecting your legal rights. All right, so the marketing strategy uh, that I decided to use, and I forgot to bring the handouts up here with me, but right back here, is by passing out these handouts uh, to folks that I believe will already uh, be needing the service. Now, whenever you're thinking of insurance, whenever you're thinking of something ahead, you usually don't think of it, you think of a, cat a catastrophe happening uh, ahead of you, uh, ahead of time. Nobody ever thinks that's gonna happen to them. So what I decided to do is to use sort of real marketing and find folks who are having these troubles, find folks who already are, uh, who already do need legal help, and kind of tell them, hey, next time, you should be covered for that. And I have two flyers that uh, I plan to give out to folks. Uh, one is on every uh, UMPC home that I can find because they are, uh, again, notorious for uh, charging ridiculous late fees. And I'll put that on every UMPC home. And then the other, uh, I will go to every uh, car that I find on Harrison, or hey, if some of y'all drove here to Rockers to park here tonight without a parking pass, you might find a parking ticket on your car. Uh, and to those cars, I will slip this right next to uh, the parking <laughs> ticket, <laughs> and it says, fight this ticket. And if y'all want to see these, uh, I have uh, some demonstrations of, I guess, a colorblind person's perspective of these flyers. <laughs> So, here we go. strategy is to find folks that uh, have already needed legal help in the past and to help them out. Uh, the American Bar Association actually said that last year, 30, only the, of the folks that needed uh, legal help, of the folks that actually needed an attorney, only 37% actually had access to an attorney. 37%, I mean 63% of folks out there that needed legal help, that needed an attorney, didn't have access to one. And so therefore, I find these people and I say, hey, next time around, make sure that you're protected. And this is what this will be marketed, uh, marketed for. Also, for the uh, marriage counseling and for the uh, family job, or for the uh, family law, I go to bridal shops and say, hey, uh, you refer uh, for me to you know some of your customers. I might give you a kickback or something, right? So uh, while you're looking for uh, for a bridal judge or something, you're like, oh, let me show uh, let me show my husband that or my future husband to be that I really do care about this for this marriage. I'm going to buy some protection for this marriage, some marriage counseling protection, which will help out, and it'll be great. I mean, if you don't get it, obviously you don't care about the marriage, so, right? Oh, um, so the the marketing strategy is going to basically I'm going to try to follow a lot of what eSurance did, which is mainly be uh, online, have a huge online presence, and try to do all the marketing all, or all the the transactions online uh, using the website uh, gaspyperez.com which I'll show you all here in a bit, so look forward to that, that's going to be great. All right, so uh, hopefully that will also keep costs down because everything will stay virtual and I won't really have to uh, buy a um, physical location, I won't have to get, uh, really have to pay for many physical employees, which, uh, yeah, God bless them, but yeah. All right, so um, also the market strategy, uh, the folks that I'm looking to serve, uh, like I said earlier, um, these, these tiers, they have different sort of tiers that I have, uh, have different sort of packages that I can, I can create. But on the website itself, it says, if you see a package on here that you don't, that isn't for you, but you still want this coverage, let us know, because we can tailor something just for you. And that's the beauty of this business, because it's so small, because we're still small, we can tailor something for them. It's not like this huge uh, business like Allstate to where you know it's one size fits all, boom, we tailor it for you. And that's another huge advantage that we'll have. Um, to a company like Legal Shield. Now, a lot of folks, whenever they think of an industry like this, they'll they'll think prepaid legal. But the thing is, prepaid legal doesn't even exist anymore. They actually changed their name to Legal Shield, and they're the only uh, folks out here that are really doing this. And you know, nobody really knows who Legal Shield is, right? They're not really competition. They're not really doing much at all. Who who here has Legal Shield protection? 
Okay, never mind. That's one person, though. That's one person. One person out of everyone here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, more than one person here could have used a lawyer in the past year. And so, therefore, you know, y'all should look at this website really afterwards. You're just saying. All right, so the. Um, Business plan, the, uh, the way that it's going to run uh, for the uh, first few years here, the very first year, what I'm thinking is that if we have 10 clients, we're still probably going to run a loss because I'm, I'm estimating that about 20% of, of our clients, of our customers, are going to essentially make claims uh, for an attorney that they're actually going to need legal help. And that's going to outweigh the amount of money that they're bringing in if it's just 10 clients. So that very first year, uh, it's going to be a uh, loss. It's going to be about a two thousand three hundred dollar loss. After that, it's going to start gaining. It's going to start gaining traction. Hopefully, a hundred people will uh, will sign up for this. Twenty percent of that, you can see the difference right there. A little profit is made. A little bit of profit. After that, five hundred people. You can see uh, where that profit would be. And then after that, a thousand people. We're starting to really, really get uh, pick up speed. We're starting to really uh, get the steam going. Uh, of course, the idea is to get gain more and more and more. That way, um, this 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 over actually kind of this gap actually kind of increases more. Obviously, that's 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 the name of the game, isn't it? Right. All right. So um, the financial factors that I foresee here, uh, I I probably need about twenty thousand dollars for this, um, ten thousand dollars for marketing, five thousand dollars to cover that deficit from the first year because. Whenever people start making claims, it's going to be like, oh, crap, I don't really have money to really pay for your lawyer. Oh, no, what are we going to do now? So I'm going to need about $5,000 to kind of uh, pay for those lawyers, and that way I can keep folks coming back, because otherwise I can't really provide them uh, the attorneys, and it's not really much of an incentive for them to come back. So, and then $5,000 $5, is for unseen expenses. Uh, and that is the um, uh, main shift for you there. And here is the website it takes a while to load and as you can see there it is life has costly little troubles and we take care of that for you that is not our building because we're not that big but it could be uh, one day one day right we'll make it broke so right uh, and so uh, we show you exactly how it works and then we show you different options there uh, you can even purchase stuff from, from us. You can click buy now, and you can just you know not even know what you're buying, and just go ahead and enter your credit card in there and send us money that way. Or you can request a quote, and we'll get back to you. Or if you're a member, you can go ahead and make the claim right there. So uh, that's all there for you. Uh, Y'all should all write that website down. Tell your friends about it. Tell all your family about it. Uh, it'll be great. Also, some other packages that we've got coming up. Uh, and the, what we offer um, is the business package, which will be great for all of y'all who are looking to start your own business because everyone knows uh, that businesses have lots of legal uh, troubles. And even if you have uh, an LLC, that corporate veil is easy to uh, pierce and you don't want uh, creditors going after you as well. So be protected. All right, questions? I like that like everything is coming soon as well. Yes, that's coming soon. Are you an attorney? I am not an attorney, no. He so how are you going to practice law without a license? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to uh, find other attorneys that are out there uh, because of the fact that there are more attorneys out there on the market than there are actual jobs. Attorneys are really looking for work, and so it's, it's easier to find attorneys out there uh, that are going to be a little bit more, uh, I guess, cost-effective. You can't um, own a law firm. Okay. You can't own a law firm. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to be a sort of a middleman to where I, I kind of um, refer. Uh, refer essentially. They're going to be doing this outside of their billable hours. And what, what's the what was the membership charge? What was the, what those tiers and all? Yeah, the tiers. Yes, yeah, so membership charges. Uh, for the traffic, it is um, twelve ninety nine a month, uh, and for that, you get fifteen hours a year. Um, for traffic plus, it's $19.99 a month, and for that, you get 30 hours, and $29.99 a month, you get 45 hours a year. So you have all the car pricing. What is it for everything that you offer right now? What do you mean? So I get the traffic, marriage, can you go back to page? Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> I, 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 just, I just fixed a ticket with my Legal Shield insurance like a week ago. <clears throat> so I am one of those people who routinely makes claims above, I pay $24.95 a month, I have used more than that every single year that I've had the insurance. So 
I, I love, you know, and you've got me sold already, but you offer even more than they do. Yes. So, <laughs> I like this. I, I like this. <laughs> What's the pricing for all of this? For air and traffic, data protection, data protection. I, 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 I really am working with a, a number because I honestly, at this point, where I've, I've only come up with is like one ninety nine a month, and that's way out of the price range of like Legal Shield. So I'm trying to see if I. What the reason why I'm saying it's coming soon is because I'm waiting until I get the first hundred clients before I actually do the everything. Because until uh, until I, I do that, then I can't really do the everything yet. Otherwise, it'll be a huge loss. It was pandering to you earlier, Father Curran. You should have been here. <laughs> yeah, it's a university's mission. Where's, where's Legal Shield trending? Oh. Where's it going? Is it? Is it? I I, I tried looking uh, to see like, exactly where they're going. All I know is that they've been around since the seventies, and they only they they're not they still aren't that big in the market. From what I've, I've asked around from other folks, I've I've kind of done a little bit of research, and from what I've seen is that um, folks like Dave Ramsey. Like the, the culture really isn't my age. Because folks like Dave, Dave Ramsey argue against it. Uh, I think Clark Howard uh, advocates against it. He, uh, they see it as uh, you're not getting your money's worth uh, for that. But it's the same arguments against uh, insurance. So if, if you can, if you can, if you can get the culture to kind of buy into it, then if you do better. But I don't, I don't think they've been doing direct sales for a long time. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think they're they're really. They're trying down. You know, they they have more. I just I don't think they've done a good job. But I think you have a good point that there's they're the only in the market you can go after. That I, I, like I said, I'm already sold with I'm already a customer. You need to offer wills. Wills, okay, that's that's yeah, good. Estate planning. Yeah, because yeah. you there, have there are estate about, planners who sell their services as well. You okay. have them there about marriage and you know, all that. Do wills. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be a big thing. Yeah. And that, that's right. how you can package it. It's a family package, which yeah. includes your divorce, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not in there. That's right. Yeah. It's, it's a family package. That way, it's not family plan, yeah. your will. Your will. Yeah. The, the, uh, the way that I was getting to the, uh, the, the university's, uh, uh, I guess, mission before is that I wasn't doing so much of a divorce plan. I was doing more of a marriage counseling plan. It's a serious thing. It's a serious thing. It's a Oh, and the wills that's donated to Rockers University. Yes, right? yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>